I want to talk about search a little bit. So I've got a project and if I go to the author tab and I take a look at the table of contents, if a topic is in the table of contents, the topic will be found when the user search. And just to give you an example of that, I have a topic in the table of contents called drug policy. So I've already output my project. I'm going to go ahead and go to my output tab and I'm going to view it. And I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type drugs. And I find the drug policy, the alcohol policy. Now the reason special benefits is found as well is that special benefits is on the table of contents and there's a link to the drug abuse policy topic. Now I want to show you another topic here in my project which is going to lead us to the problem. On the contents tab I have a topic called pets in the office policy. Here it is. That topic is not in the table of contents. I'll open up all the sections on the TOC and you can see pets in the office policy is not there. So if I go to my output, let me switch back to my output real quick, and I search for snakes, which I know is a word in the topic, nothing is found. So how can you add a topic in RoboHelp to search when the topic is not in the table of contents or you don't want it to be in the table of contents? So let's think about that for a second. It is not appropriate to put everything in your project in the table of contents. First of all, you might have thousands and thousands of topics and if you put too much content in there, it's going to be unusable for your end user. So here's what I recommend that you do. Let me close these sections just to collapse this whole interface. I'm going to make a section here and I'm going to call it not in TOC but searchable. And I'll click done. Now what you can do if you want every topic in your project to be searchable, you can just go to your contents and start dragging and dropping them into this folder, into the section I should say. But I'm going to add the pets topic inside that not in the TOC but searchable. Now you can give this section any name you want. I just called it not in TOC but searchable. So I'll select the section and I'll come over here to the content properties and I'll open up general and there's a check mark in here called hide and output. That does not mean don't output this topic. That's a different thing but it means hide it on the table of contents. So I'm going to select that. Now just remember that I have a section here now called not in TOC but searchable. So let me close that browser which I left open and I'm going to regenerate my project. So I'll go to output. I'll save before I do and I'm going to output. So right click generate. Let it do its thing. Okay, now let me just show you on the author tab. Oh, pets was already open. I'll go back to pets. I'm looking for the word snakes because snakes is in the topic. I could easily look for aquarium, you know? So I'm going to go back to my output tab. I'm going to view my output. This is frameless output. I just call it policies output. I'll view it. And I'm going to search for snakes again. Now remember, by the way, let me just show you on the table of contents, that extra section is not here. The one that is called, let me show it to you. It's called not in TOC but searchable, right? So let me search now for snakes. I'd search for aquariums but I just misspell it so I'm not going to do that. I'll press enter and there is a direct hit for pets in the office policy. And if I click it, there it pops up and the word stakes is selected. I think that's pretty cool. A quick way to add something to search when you don't want it on the TOC.